One year later and still not working, while Florida's unemployment rate continues to decline for those still out of work, the system that was virtually inaccessible last April is still not functioning correctly. Now, as political reporter Christopher Heath explains, proposed fixes may end up hurting those still struggling. For the last year, the Orange County Convention Center has sat largely empty. For workers like Chris Brown, no trade shows means no work. Like June, July, if I remember correctly, is when we actually did like a giant layoff at my company. After losing his job last summer, Chris found himself locked out of Florida's unemployment system until October, finally getting in after three months of trying. Now, still out of work, he's been locked out again. So I logged in and it's like your account's locked. And then it's in, in like big, bold, bright letter, like red letters. It's like, you need to go here to this site and verify you are who you are. Chris did that. It didn't work. And he's not alone. To this day, our office has actually exceeded 30,000 requests from Floridians for help with their unemployment claims. Today, Central Florida Representative Anna Escamani hosted a conference call with union leaders to discuss Florida's ongoing unemployment situation. DO has recently tried to strengthen its fraud prevention that is creating a lot of harm because it's, it's those efforts that are now penalizing people who are doing everything right. For those suddenly locked out by DEO, here's what they get if they call in looking for answers. All of our phone lines are busy and we are unable to offer our callback option at this time. For people like Chris, still out of work, the weeks out of work and locked out of benefits mean falling behind on bills while waiting to go back to work. Part of the reason claims are now being frozen is because of a new ID program that the Department of Economic Opportunity decided to implement back in February. The department says it is still working through issues associated with the program. Reporting from Orlando, Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.